It was a dark and stormy night when Nick realized he needed content for the next day's update. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of Mug and Play. I'm Nick, my darling Stephanie's at work and it is raining like crazy outside right now. It was all fun, it was just a little drizzly during the day and out of nowhere it started raining like crazy. So if you hear any, uh, any extra loud thunder throughout this episode, then you know, consider it a bonus. Cause we're playing. You know, I realize I haven't. We haven't played a spooky game in a while. So I rounded up. I checked out the game jolts and the itchios and all the other sites where I go to get my free game on. And I found. Uh, I found this game and I found a few other ones. I'm gonna try and get as through as many as I can tonight. Cause the the mood is right for scary games. We're gonna play a game called Beyond the Static. I know nothing about it except that there's static and we must go beyond it. Let's do that. Click on the tape and then on the play button on the cassette player. All right, click on the tape and on the play button. First of November, 2016. My name is James Peterson. Uh -huh. um, if you're hearing this message, you have probably found my logbox. There are yeah. audio and video tapes and a few newspaper clippings in it. Please follow the instructions on the audio tapes. Okay. I want you to insert VHS cassette labeled tape 1 into a VCR and uh, watch the recording that's on it. After you did it, insert the audio cassette labeled tape 2. Tip 2. I'll, I'll explain everything. Shh. I'll click on the VH test VHS tape. Click on the VHS tape and then on the play button on the VCR. Okay. So there. And there. Oh, I see. Now this is us. God, that's so creepy when we move. It's... Uh huh. All right. So I hope everyone's been doing okay. I mean, I'm do doing all right. I mean, I haven't played a scary game in a while. I haven't given my my heart rate a chance to 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 be to be tested lately. So I think this will be a good. What about forgiveness? Okay. You are in a room, but not alone, unfortunately. Look around and search for a shadowy figure in your room. He can be everywhere. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, I gotta look for this dude. If you see him, press and hold space to shine the light in his eyes. If you do it right, in a few seconds he will be away. Your flashlight battery will decrease by doing this. To recharge it, press and hold F. Okay, cool. During the game, you'll hear whispers. If you hear, press and hold control as soon as possible to switch off your flashlight. All right, so I got control and F and space. All right. Tape one. So we got to look around the room for this dude. I think we can find him. Or is the goal to not find him? Oh, I see. Here we go. Uh... Oh, there we go. Okay. So we gotta look around the room. And if we see him, gotta shine it bright. Like a diamond. Just like Rihanna said. She's the key. <laughs> ah! I see you! Yeah, 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 yeah. Go away! I don't like you, fam. There we go. I don't know if you could hear that thunder, but that was not part of the game. That was part of the real life. All right. Mother. <laughs> it's okay, QB. QB gave gave me one concerned bork. Just one little. Hey. You all right? I'm fine, honey. It's okay, baby. I. Whew. It's. I, I sunk in my chair. Let me, ugh, okay. All right. Ah, well then. This has been quite a while since I played a scary game. So you know what? I'm in. I'm in poor form. Let me adjust this. I also adjusted my pop filter. Hopefully, it sounds a little bit nicer. How are you? Hi, pop filter. All right. Let's give this another go. You die. Retry. Yeah, sure. All right. Skip. I know what to do. All right. We can do this. I believe in us. Uh-huh. December 3rd, 1995. 
So we just gotta shine it around the room. I'm just gonna occasionally just... Just... Eh, there we go. Uh-huh. 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 Sorry, I'm not... I know this isn't... is making for poor dialogue, but... My... my impending fear... Is good dialogue. You're right there. I see you. You're at the foot of my bed, and I don't care for you. I'm gonna put on a strobe light show for you. Please go away. Thank you. And I like that. He he listened. I I asked him nicely to go away, and he did. You know, it's it's nice when you're being haunted by a by a very considerate spectral being. Kubi, <laughs> it's all. Okay. She's she's. Uh, Complete and total concern kiss. My goodness. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna give it we're gonna give it one more we're gonna give it one more shot. I I think that you know, but you know what? It's like he he's the first time we see him. He he's he's like yeah yeah I'm right here. It's like it's like a, it's like a test scare, you know. But ah. Uh. I can hear a dog barking in the distance. Now I'm not sure, do I have to flash the flashlight at him or just, or just glare it? Because I was putting on a strobe light show for him and that seemed to do the trick. But I don't know if I just need to press and hold or what. But he's gonna appear any second now. You know, that thunder outside really does not help, you guys. It just makes it a little bit scarier. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not appreciating your sass, but you guys are, I'm sure you guys are getting your, your fill of me jump jiving and wailing, you know, just like Brian Seltzer Orchestra said that I should do, jump, jive, and wail, in that order. And it's okay, QB. She is so concerned right now, you know. Even if, if this ends up being a short a shorter episode, I'll just throw in a little interview with QB at the end. Would you like that, QB? Oh, baby, I love her so much. She cares about she cares about me and Stephanie so much. She's such a good dog, and I love her. Aww. Do you, I wonder I wonder if any of you have pets? If so, let me know. Leave a comment below telling me what kind of pets you have. What are their names? How old are they? Are they are they good or bad? Boy boy pets, girl pets. You know, I love I love learning about people's pets cuz you know, I love also looking around the room to make sure that nothing's going to come and get me even though I'm 0 for 4 on things getting me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I see you. I see you, bitch. I see you, bitch. There we go. Charge the flashlight up. Okay, good. That was outside. Oh, thanks for adding to the atmosphere, Mother Nature, but I don't need your help. I appreciate it. You know... I think I'm just uh I think I'm just in uh, in rough in rough shape with uh with the with the spooky games, you know? And uh I just I just think that's uh I just need I need a little practice. So uh you know what? I think I think I'm just gonna I think I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call this here. If you guys can if you guys can get past this, you know, better than I can, then you you make your own ga gash dang video and you you tell me about it and I'll check it out and I'll say you did better than me, buddy. You know. But I think I'm going to wrap this up here. But uh, maybe I'll throw in a little treat at the end with QB to help kind of take the edge off. Because I'm sure these things may have made you jump. And if they did, then you'll appreciate the 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 interview with, with QB at the end. But thank you so much for joining me. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to poke that like button right in the eye. Again, leave a comment below. Tell me what kind of pets you have. I love learning about people's pets, as I was trying to say earlier, you know. It's like when you go to a party and there's, like, a dog there. That is just, like, a godsend to me. I love that. I love when uh, there's pets at a party because I finally I have someone to talk to. I remember one time I went to a party for the pet. And it was it was the dog's birthday, so I'm just like, oh great, everyone's gonna want to be talking to the dog, and I I ended up 
uh, hanging out with with the next available creature that wasn't a person, which was the plants. Good conversationalists, good listeners. Not not so much contributing. Yeah, I mean, it, they're they're they are just as much a part of the conversation now as they were two three years ago when I spoke to them. I hope they're doing okay. They were just window box plants, but. And if you want to see more videos like this, I'm sure to hit that subscribe button. Sorry, I ran off at a little tangent there, but thank you so much. I love you all. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Kubi. So, how was how was your day? Did you have a good day? No. Yeah. Were you scared? Watching watching Papa. Watching Papa play the scary game? No? No, I mean, you got a little concerned, but... Are you... Oh, thank you. Thank you for the kiss. You know? Did you smell any good smells today? I know you made a poopy earlier. And that smelled. I know, because I cleaned it up. But... Oh, look at you stretching out. Oh, I love you. All right. Well, I'm going to wrap up this interview. Can I have a kiss? QB, can I have a kiss? No? Not right now. Thanks for joining me, QB. Thanks for joining me, all of you. Oh, what a cutie. I love her.